I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to start with spot there, spot there, spot down here, in here is where I believe I have four locations of your screw. One rubber cap there, one rubber cap there, one rubber cap down here, and one rubber cap down there. Remove the caps, then remove the screws. Okay, I'm going to remove the rubber covers off the where I believe the screws are. Got this little plier. All Phillips on there. Going to remove the screws. Got lucky the straight uh, shaft to fit in, get these screws at the bottom edge. I was kind of worried about getting to them. Prefer not to take that other video I saw, the guy kind of went around and pried his fingernails underneath the plastic frame on the edge of the display. That's what I'm trying to do. Seems to pop loose every once in a while, like I get the right spot. Get it pulled up enough. Here in the middle top, it's something kind of holding on that. I'm going to leave it held on for a while. Okay, I'm going to stop and turn it around and see what I find there. Kind of looks like it's just a little extra glue holding that in. So I got that release. The glue is here and here. About that spot on the front and back and front there. Okay, the screen's pretty much uh, unfastened from plastic. You can see you got a screw here, screw here. screw down here and a screw in his area to be removed to change out the screen so I'm going to do that now You can see the bracket that Okay. I think it would be free. And then you... What am I finding here? Well, then on the back, you have uh, the ribbon connector. You plug the screen in. Let's see what happens. The other video I saw said move the yellow tape first. So I try and do it that way. That clear yellow wrapper there. Okay, put it there. Now, I got, that's one piece, looks like I have two pieces of tape, another yellow piece. That was kind of holding the ribbon coming up to the L, and now, get this other piece here. I need something to hold down the ribbon from, so I pull on the tape. 
Well, let me try it a little different way. I messed with the screwdriver holding the blank down, but instead I pulled the yellow tape down and uh, working from the other way. And it seems to be coming up okay. Yeah. So it came off. It unfastened. And I have the old screen out of there. Now this is the new screen. I'm going to hold it the same way. Kind of lay it in. Got a film protector on it. You better take that off, I'm thinking. And now I'm going to try my recording. Yeah. I'm going to try and plug it back in and put the tape down. Line it up. It's a little bit of stuff painted, but. Okay, slid in, now hopefully it's one of those things that once it slides in it's usually in the right spot and you can't move it, you don't have to push it in the right exact groove. But I got my tape folded up so I'm going to unplug it and try again. Okay, then more like it. Put her in, eyeball it from the top. Pretty much you lean it back and get it to the end. It can only go in. But one way I'm thinking, how can this be on? The damn thing turned on on me. Well, I'll be damned. Okay. 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 That's in. Feels pretty snug. Push the tape down to hold her back in. Push it around. Grab that other piece of tape. Seen basically just to hold it kind of in place, the whole, uh, both ribbons. Put that back where it was approximately. And there you go. It's plugged in. Hopefully it's it's correct. Now I'm going to insert the old screws back on the four edges, the bracket to the monitor. Up here is the right magnet sitting kind of position I believe it goes in. Over here is the left magnet. Also notice the whole cover lifts off if you're just careful at the bottom.